stagnated on my job for four years. I relocated to Lagos in 2018, and it was like a promising journey for me. I got a, a kind of grand reception at my working place when I started, but jealousy and envy started. I became a, a subject of ridicule. In fact, I was stagnated. Everybody that joined the company with me, some got promoted, some got angry and were able to find another job. I was the best staff, celebrated the best staff in my department almost every year, but with no benefit. And I was asking God, what is the problem? I was working CV for people to get jobs. I was like a retainment coach for people, coaching people to go and get jobs, but I wasn't getting any offers. So this year, I became suicidal. I, I snapped into depression. I was like, maybe God has forgotten me. Not like I've not been praying. I've been joining other prayer platforms online. I've been praying personally. But oh, I, one day, I stumbled into Facebook. I saw this uh, platform on Facebook. Nobody introduced me. And I fell in love with uh, what Bode Buka was doing. And I said to myself, okay, I'm going to come here. So on the 15th of October, I knew my birthday was supposed to be on the 25th of October. So on the 15th, I said, okay, I was coming. I wasn't even aware of the birthday. But when I came here, I discovered the birthday was on the 16th. And the man of God said, those that will eat the food, they will go back to testify. This thing I'm telling you, in this month alone, in the month of October, I did interview like 12 places. Not to talk of the month of November. And all the interviews I did, I passed the interviews first, second, third level, and I was given congratulations without offer. When I called the recruiter, what is the problem? Some of them told me that, sorry, at the last verse, the owner of the company decided to go for a male candidate, but they actually recruited for me. Sometimes they even say that the role has been suspended in further notice, but I actually passed for the role. There I knew that I was being chased, that there was something wrong with me. It got to the point that, they even sold the house I was living and I was like, where am I going? Let me just plan to kill myself because there's no purpose for me. But when I got here, I bought the seraphic water. I didn't even mind whether the man of God touches me or not. I want to tell you that it worked for me. When I got home, I used the seraphic water to wash my face. I joined the 14 days prayer. I joined the open heaven. I sometimes sleep off praying by 11 p.m. with the man of God. Then in the next... Just five days into the prayers, I got a job offer. I got a job offer from a British company that pays four times what I was earning. It was like God just remembered me and brought me from the dungeon. That was not all. About five companies I was interviewed for that said they had no opening for me after started calling me. I became the most suitable candidate for all the positions that was advertised for. As I speak to you, I have like three, four job offers I had to select from the best. It, it didn't even end there. One of the recruits, one of the hiring companies said, invited me for a job offer. I told them, I'm sorry, I'm no more interested. I have a job. They called me to ask me, what is the company that hired you paying you? I told them. They said they're going to match the offer. They even said they want to pay my house rent every year. In fact, I don't know the kind of God that exists in this place. I've never been a... a, a <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't know if you've been stagnated before. I don't know if you've seen your mates going higher. At the point, I asked that recruiter that said he wants to pay for my house rent. I asked her, Madam, after the interview, the first, the second, and the third interview, I passed. And you told me that and you will call me to come and arrange when I will start the job. And I kept calling you for one month. You never picked my call. The woman said to me that, sorry, I saved your number as a dry cleaner. And each time you call me, I thought it was my dry cleaner that was calling me. So when you call me, I send my clothes to the dry cleaner, saying the dry cleaner is disturbing me. So I was now advertising for the dry cleaner. But I want to thank God because he remembered me. Right now, even the people in my office that were laughing at me, they're asking me, how did you do it? Can you take me to the Babalawo that did it for you? And I told them, this is the Babalawo. And I want to praise the name of the Lord because he did it for me. Hallelujah. Amen.